Capricorn, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising suns. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 70 Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels so let us dive right in because right now is a really really fun and exciting time for you leading you to a new chapter of great renewal for yourself for you and your partner you and your family perhaps attracting in a soulmate but either way the end of whatever whatever energy you are currently inhabiting know that there will be a wonderful pot of gold at the end of this treasure hunt, okay? And it is gonna reflect in um, a lot of happiness, a lot of love, communication, connection. And so the journey that you're on right now is building strength, okay? Building strength within your knowing, so spiritual strength, building strength within tuning into your intuition, tuning in and really understanding what your intentions are. Because as we go through this game of life and we go through different experiences, we go through dif uh, different degrees of contrast, right? And contrast lets us know what we're what we're interested in, what we're looking for, what works, what doesn't work. And we kind of go through this self-discovery merely by experiencing, right? And so we want you to be open right now. Actually, Spirit's coming forward with a message and just being open right now. And if your ego becomes triggered by anything, instead of allowing the triggered emotion to influence you, take a minute with that trigger. Take a minute with that emotion that comes up. And, and this could go like by looking at someone in your outer world and thinking like, oh, I wish I was farther along. Oh, I wish I was like them. I wish I had more money. Like if, if there's any type of comparison, that in particular is something that we desire but remember you can have anything you want and as a matter of fact when our when we're triggered by someone or something in our outer world and it brings our ego as if like we're not worthy we're not good because we don't have that thing and they have it and we want it always remember beautiful soul that if you want something it's already been done now we're just in the process of receiving it by being in that receivable mode right so don't allow your uh, triggers to influence you as a matter of fact allow them to show you where you're headed Ooh, we like that's a good one right so this and that are true so even though something may seem like it's out of reach or like it's not in your capabilities, understand that that is just an illusion of the mind. That is what fear will do, right? And so we have to remember our truth. Remember who you, who you are and what your truth is. Like, what do you actually like? What do you, what do you, what is your knowing? What is it that you enjoy, right? Know yourself. When you know yourself, you know your worth. And we want you to really believe and trust your worth because right now you're in an amazing place of creation and expansion in this beautiful time here on planet Earth. And right now we just want you to be more aware of where your energy is being focused, okay? Because with the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in reverse, together these messages come forward with letting you know that your focus may be in an, in an area where you're not feeling reciprocated. Now, this could be something like, I really want to change jobs. I don't like the job I'm in. I'm not happy with the job I'm in, but how am I ever going to change? I have a family. I'm in this. I don't know how to change. What am I doing? Like, so, right? So your focus is in the lack of what you want, or you're feeling like you want something, but it's not attainable. And we want to remind you that it's, it's, it's in the little moments that change happens, right? Those little moments where you wake up one day and say, you know what? I feel like meditating. I'm just going to meditate. Or those little moments where you're like, you know what? I feel like going for a walk today, right? I'm just going to go for a walk. And we don't think it's anything. We don't feel like that's anything. We're just like, yeah, well, it's just whatever. It's just a walk. It's just a little meditation. But it's in those moments that we make that inspired choice to do something a little differently. Or again, a little bit, you know, we've, we've, picked it up along the way that this is good for us. So, hey, I'm going to give it a try. It's in those little moments we are collecting data and discovering more about ourselves. So that's why I don't doubt what you do. A lot of the times we do that to ourselves. We doubt what we do. And then in our in a process of creation and in the process of us building ourselves, we kind of have unfocused energy, says that 10 of wands in reverse, because we feel like what we're doing isn't isn't good, isn't worthy, right? It, it isn't, isn't, you know, 
worthwhile. It's like, well, it's not really that big of a deal. We think it's, I'm just going for a walk, but you're not just going for a walk. You're moving your energy. You're getting outside. You are doing something different. You are being with yourself. You're doing something with yourself. You know, it's all of this adds up. It adds up. I promise you that. Right? So right now we just want you to focus where your energy is going. Cause right now it may feel like you're, you're focusing on the areas of lack or what you'd like to see changed. And we want to invite you in to maybe more so focus on again, what brings you good Good vibration what brings you uh, reciprocated energy back what brings you happiness because we can see here that the lack of um, where you're placing your focus okay it's it's bringing your vibes into a place where you feel like you're in, unable to take action or do things to the degree that you want them to and we're letting you know right now it's not it's not this it's not the situation it's not you it's not around what's going on around you it's not your family it's none of that Okay. It's none of that. What's holding back right now, right now, what is feeling stuck for you is the fact that there needs to be more spiritual awareness or consciousness or awareness of your intuition says this hermit in reverse, more awareness of the connection you have with your guides and angels. When we do not feel this connection, we forget we have it right. And that's why right now we ask you to build some spiritual strength, maybe do a little meditation, remember, or even just in those moments, in those tiny moments where you are, where, where energy energy is being placed into something in your life and it doesn't feel reciprocated. So your energy is getting lower and lower. It's in those moments of low vibration that we want you to tune in to your heart. So just bring your awareness. See how if you put your finger up and you look at your finger and your awareness is in your finger. Oh, there's my finger. You can see it, right? So have the same concept, but with your heart, right? Awareness in the heart. Oh, there's my heart. I can see it in my mind's eye. I can breathe energy into it. I can breathe oxygen into it. Okay. There's my heart, right? So try to bring awareness into your heart, solar plexus area. This is like the heart is where the guides live in a sense, right? Where your angels live because your heart is connected. And when you bring your awareness to your heart, what that's going to do is it's going to remove your focus from your outer world, from the lack for a minute, from the worries that are just an illusion. And it's going to bring you to the truth and reconnect you, realign you. Because what we're seeing here is the journey that you're on and where you are currently right now, you have something that is waiting for you, a beautiful opportunity that we feel you may be missing because your energy is being focused into, into other energies that don't feel good. So you're thinking, how am I ever going to get, you know, how am I ever going to do this when I, this is where I am in life? But really all you have to do is look for what brings you positive vibrations. And then all of a sudden your vibrations rise. And all of a sudden this brilliant idea that is quite connected to a large sum of abundance is going to flow into your life. We can see that with the 10 of pentacles. Now this large sum of abundance isn't like, you know, wrapped in a pretty bow and just going to show up on your doorstep, right? It's not like quite like that, right? Sometimes we get this conception. It's just going to show up out of thin air, but it's more so this idea, this opportunity, this 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 newfound sense of awareness this you feel abundant with you're like oh this feels so good it feels like joy and bliss I feel I feel like myself I feel grounded I feel I feel successful I feel I, I just feel all the wonderful things that come with being in that state and that's what attracts in the large sum of abundance it's the feeling around it you see that's why we don't want you to focus on things that don't leave you feeling abundant because that's not going to attract an abundance you See, what is going to attract an abundance is whatever feels like that for you, right? And that's that's what we want you to, to prioritize right now, okay? And what may hold you back from that stream of abundance, from that flow of energetic uh, goodness, may be where your focus is. And it may be on a time of, maybe in a, uh, uh, an energy of nostalgia, right? So you may be thinking of thoughts from the past, right? Maybe thinking, how am I ever going to do this? You know, I have this, I have that, right? Just kind of keeping yourself in that past vibration with that six of cups in reverse, holding you back from the inspiration, the inspirational pull of the universe where it says that knight of wands in reverse as well. So try to establish, um, you know, a, a, a time in the day, if you can, in the morning. Um, but it, it, you know, it's it's really it's 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 really whatever you're you're called to do. But the morning time is really a really nice time to just wake up. And we've and we've stated before, right? And it's it's worked for so many, right? You just wake up and you just get outside. It's simple, right? No thoughts, no confusion, no worry. Just wake up before the rest of the house and just get outside, right? Even if it's for five, ten minutes, right? But twenty is awesome, right? Just along those lines, get some fresh air, get your oxygen going, get a little movement in, do some jumping jacks do something right because when we start the day and we start it in that kind of like doing something that is different and doing something with a little more intensity right then we clear our energy and that's how we start the day 
So we start the day commanding our energy. You know what I mean? And then the rest of the day has that same theme, that same vibe. But when we start the day kind of moping around, kind of here's another day on planet Earth, right? Then we're kind of in that energy for the rest of the day. And then when things show up, we're kind of in that like, oh, I don't know, kind of mode, right? And then we don't really take action on what we want to do. So if we just wake up and we do something that's that's active, that's different, you know, it, it, it really allows us to kind of like charge up our energy to, to have the confidence and have our knowing for the day. And speaking of confidence, this is the message of your angels today. Have confidence. They are saying to you, moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God, source, creator is enough along with knowing that creator works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. Remember, you have an entire team of guides and angels. And when you lean into your heart, just like we talked about, breathe into your heart, it's like you're reconnecting with them, right? You're reconnecting with them. And the more you establish this connection, that's why we recommend getting outside and coming back if you can and do a little meditation. Give that to yourself because it's like every day you're having a a team meeting with the beings who are going to guide you through this journey of life. You know what I mean? So it's so worthwhile and it is so rewarding. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.